Chris Diva and Ian Clawson. Brave Together. Lead by design, spark creativity, and shape the future with the power of co-creation. In today's busy world, you've probably been fed the narrative that relentless hard work and individualism are the sole path to success in both your career and personal life. Yet, this relentless pursuit can often lead to burnout, isolation, and a sense of division. Imagine, then, shifting the focus toward a more collaborative ethos, asking yourself how you can foster cultures that not only drive innovation, but are also deeply cherished by those who inhabit them. This concept of co-creation could offer a blueprint for a future where working together creatively isn't just an option, but the foundation of all progress. In this blink, you'll learn about the transformative power of facing fears together, the critical role of self-reflection in personal growth, and the undeniable benefits of fostering a co-creative work environment. Discover the steps to transform adversity into creative power, and how compassion can drive meaningful change. You'll also explore how collective creativity can redefine industries, and the significance of shifting from a sole creator mindset to one of collaborative innovation. Are you ready to explore the value of the collective over the individual, where creativity and collaboration pave the way for a fulfilling future? Then let's get started. Unlocking Creativity Through Collective Bravery and Self-Reflection When Ian Clawson and Dave Arcade teamed up to develop the animated series Spaceland, they started on a path marked by both innovation and intimidation. Ian, with his untapped creative potential, and Dave, armed with his artistic genius, demonstrated the power and complexity of collaborative creation. This venture wasn't just about merging talents. It was a test of overcoming the fears that accompany any creative endeavor. Fear of failure, fear of losing identity, and fear of negative judgment. For many, these fears are all too common. For Ian and Dave, the fear of falling short of expectations threatened to stifle their innovation. The apprehension of losing personal creativity in the partnership challenged their identities, and anxiety over the reception of Spaceland tested their resolve. These fears, ubiquitous in creative and professional realms, often act as formidable obstacles. But Ian and Dave's experience with Spaceland reveals an essential truth. By embracing the ethos of collective courage, it's possible to navigate these fears. This is the principle of being brave together, which allows for overcoming personal barriers and paves the way for achieving broader creative success. At the heart of transcending fear and nurturing personal growth lies the mirror test. This is an introspective exercise designed to delve into your deepest self. Are you simply managing an external facade or earnestly building toward a genuine future self that embodies your core values. It starts with a forthright evaluation of your current trajectory, urging you to recognize past accomplishments, learn from missteps, and vividly imagine a future in harmony with your fundamental beliefs. The mirror test requires a shift from superficial self-perception to a profound commitment to personal integrity and goal alignment. By undertaking the test, you commit to a path of self-accountability, rejecting the comfort of excuses in favor of actionable change. This reflective journey will deepen your self-awareness and set the stage for a life of meaningful collaboration and collective success. It underscores the critical role of self-clarity in breaking free from complacency, advocating for a future shaped by creativity, teamwork, and decisions anchored in solid principles. Through this process, you learn to align daily actions with your long-term aspirations, charting a course toward a more intentional and fulfilling existence. In essence, the pathway to innovation and shared success is paved with the courage to face your fears, 
the dedication to introspective growth via self-reflection, and the commitment to a culture of co-creation. Cultivating an environment that prizes empathy, mutual respect, and collective courage allows individuals and teams to unlock their creative potential, leading to a future that's collaboratively envisioned and constructed. Embracing co-creation for a fulfilling work future In the dynamic landscape of today's work environment, creativity and relationships are often the cornerstone of future success. Yet, the corporate sphere can find itself trapped in a cycle where results overshadow the nurturing of creative spaces, leading to a work culture that stifles innovation. A shift in leadership styles and embracing co-creation offer a robust alternative to traditional employer-employee dynamics. Co-creation is like nuclear fusion, generating more energy and possibilities by uniting elements rather than dividing them. In the modern workforce, it's common for professionals to navigate between the stability of traditional employment and the independence of entrepreneurship, each embedded in outdated models that fail to fully satisfy. Traditional roles offer security and predictable career paths, but can stifle passion and creativity, leaving many feeling trapped. Entrepreneurship, on the other hand, promises freedom and the chance to forge your own path, but is marred by a high failure rate questioning the viability of this freedom. This tension highlights the need for a new paradigm that integrates the benefits of both, advocating for a work culture where creativity, meaningful engagement and co-creation thrive. Introducing the co-creator mindset. This is a way to revolutionize the workplace by merging the strengths of traditional employment and entrepreneurship. This approach encourages collaboration, diversity, and collective innovation, enabling employees to contribute meaningfully without leaving their jobs, and entrepreneurs to create inclusive environments that drive collective success. To adopt this mindset, start by reimagining meetings as collaborative forums, where every participant contributes ideas. Shift the workplace culture to prioritize the brightest ideas, regardless of their source, fostering an environment where joy, innovation, and a shared mission thrive. This mindset combats isolation and redefines leadership to inspire and achieve communal goals, significantly impacting both business growth and personal fulfillment. Co-creation is powerful in stimulating business growth and personal fulfillment. Picture a future where work transcends being merely a means to an end, evolving into a collaborative venture of discovery and innovation. The challenge we all face is to wholeheartedly adopt this transformation, dismantle the barriers of isolation, and cultivate a work environment that prizes co-creation as the avenue to not just business excellence, but also personal contentment and the flourishing of community bonds. The path to a co-creative future is undoubtedly complex, yet it heralds a more fulfilling and interconnected professional life for everyone involved. Transforming adversity into creative power What if your biggest setbacks were actually pathways to hidden opportunities? In the face of business decline or personal adversity, the instinct might be to view everything as a loss. Yet, transformative power emerges when you shift your perspective toward recognizing and harnessing gains, using your experiences, pains and challenges to fuel creativity, innovation and success. Take Clint Schaaf's story, for instance. Faced with the daunting challenge of leading the struggling LA Times studios, Schaaf chose to innovate over retreating. By tapping into the team's collective passion for storytelling, they explored unconventional ideas like launching a podcast, not only salvaging the business, but also redefining their industry. This illustrates the untapped potential within collective creativity and passion to discover new opportunities and redefine paths to success. 
The principle of turning pain into power is pivotal here. It requires diving deep into challenges, not to dwell on them, but to comprehend their nature and transform them into opportunities. This approach is equally applicable to personal adversities. It's important to confront your challenges to propel yourself toward growth and resilience. Passion plays a crucial role in this transformative process. It's the energy that propels you to deeply engage with your work and pursuits. Acknowledging that passion evolves as you do is essential for finding joy in your changing interests, freeing you from the pursuit of a singular, unchanging passion and allowing you to adapt and revel in your evolving self. Anger and the desire for revenge can sidetrack you. Transmuting these emotions into constructive forces is challenging but vital. Forgiveness and releasing resentment not only liberate you from the past but also steer your energy toward productive, creative endeavors. This shift is fundamental for your personal peace and professional success. Turning negative emotions into something constructive involves specific actions. Identifying the lessons within your adversities can reveal new paths forward, while embracing your passions can reinvigorate your approach to work and life. It's about cultivating an environment where forgiveness is valued over revenge, where creativity arises from your deepest struggles, and where every challenge is seen as a stepping stone to greater resilience and innovation. Overall, transforming adversity into an asset demands viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. By leveraging passions, redirecting negative emotions positively, and welcoming change as a constant companion, you can find innovation and success. This mindset will help you surmount immediate obstacles and pave the way for sustained achievement and fulfillment, making your biggest setbacks the seeds for your greatest victories. Empowering Change Through Compassion In a small town in Swat, Pakistan, amidst the chaos of bombs and the terror of the Taliban's edict against girls' education, a young girl named Malala Yousafzai stood firm. Her weapon was not violence, but her voice, a beacon of hope and defiance. Malala's journey from blogging anonymously about the right to education to surviving an assassination attempt, to becoming a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, encapsulates a profound truth. The power of individual conviction can ignite global change. Malala's mission wasn't just about reclaiming her right to learn, it was about advocating for every girl's right to education. Making others the mission transcends personal triumph and taps into the collective strength of humanity. This principle, the compassion principle, teaches that true fulfillment comes not from self-centered pursuits, but from dedicating yourself to the betterment of others. Unlike the fleeting satisfaction derived from personal achievements, serving others offers a deeper, more enduring sense of purpose. Malala's fight for education demonstrates how focusing on communal goals can energize and inspire, fostering a culture where compassion is the driving force. Not only that, her narrative challenges the conventional emphasis on individual success, highlighting how a life centered on making others the mission enriches not just the lives of those served, but also the life of the server. The focus needs to be shifted outward, to engage with the world not as individuals seeking personal gain, but as members of a community striving for collective well-being. This compassionate approach to living and leading paves the way for meaningful connections and transformative experiences. Prioritizing the needs and dreams of others unlocks a wellspring of joy and potential that far surpasses what anyone could achieve alone. The compassion principle is about recognizing that in the fabric of society, each thread is interwoven, and by strengthening others, the whole is fortified. In embracing this principle, 
you're invited to consider how your actions, big or small, can contribute to a more compassionate world. Malala Yousafzai's journey from a girl in SWAT to a global advocate for education illustrates that when others become the mission, the impossible becomes possible. It's a reminder that in the pursuit of a better world, your greatest strength lies in collective compassion, a shared resolve, and an unwavering belief in the potential of every individual to contribute to the tapestry of human progress. Shaping tomorrow together through the power of creativity. In a world teeming with uncertainty and rapid change, the essence of creativity is a beacon of hope and transformation. The tumultuous events of recent years have accelerated a shift, compelling us to reevaluate our approaches to work, life, and innovation. This evolution has spotlighted the invaluable role of creators. Individuals who, by nature, challenge the status quo, view the world through a lens of endless possibilities, and possess an innate drive to bring those possibilities to life. Creativity, once seen as a solitary endeavor, is being redefined in the collective consciousness. The monumental impact of collaborative efforts, such as Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech, shows us the power of co-creation. This moment in history wasn't just King's vision, but a shared dream, a co-created singularity that propelled society forward. It's an example of how creativity, when harnessed collectively, can catalyze significant societal and cultural shifts. The rise of creative endeavors, particularly within institutions like Brigham Young University's animation department, further illustrates the magic of collaboration. Here, students aren't just taught technical skills, but are encouraged to build teams and create together, leading to remarkable successes in the animation industry. This approach to education and creation has set a new standard, proving that when we build together, we can achieve the extraordinary. Similarly, the corporate world is witnessing a transformation. Companies are beginning to recognize the untapped potential of misfits, those who operate on the fringes, questioning and reinventing the way things are done. By embracing these unique perspectives and fostering an environment where creativity flourishes, organizations like Pixar and Dell have achieved groundbreaking innovations and reshaped their industries. As we move forward, the distinction between creators and influencers is becoming increasingly clear. Creators aren't just seeking attention, they aim to inspire, move and engage deeply with their audience. They understand that creativity isn't about proving your worth, but about moving others through genuine connection and shared experiences. In this evolving landscape, we're all invited to embrace our creative propensity, to see ourselves as part of a larger tapestry of innovation. It's through collective dreaming, daring, and doing that we can shape a future where creativity isn't just celebrated, but is the foundation of all we build. Let's step into this brave new world together, where creativity lights the way and co-creation is the path to realizing our most audacious dreams. The main takeaway of this blink to Brave Together by Chris Deaver and Ian Clawson is that collective courage, self-reflection and co-creation are key to transforming adversity into opportunity and creativity into innovation. By embracing our fears, leveraging our individual and collective strengths and focusing on compassion and collaboration, we can navigate personal and professional challenges to build a more fulfilling and innovative future. This way of thinking can unlock our potential and foster a culture of empathy and shared success, guiding us toward a future where we achieve more together than we ever could alone. Thanks so much for listening. See you again in the next Blink.